working towards a Middle East peace agreement. One Jewish group in the U.S. is preparing itself for the worst. In a bid to protect themselves from attack, its members are intensively training in military skills and survival methods. But as Lauren Lister discovers, critics claim the group is actually seeking conflict. Fire, fire, fire. That's the translation from Hebrew to English of a military exercise translated from the Jewish state of Israel to American soil. But these men aren't preparing for combat. They are civilians. My name is Aaron. My name is Eldad. My name is Scott Brown. Jewish Americans, a few who served in the Israeli Defense Forces, who are now part of... Kitat Konanit New York was started in 2006, in the summer of 2006. They're training here in the woods with semi-automatic weapons. This is a civilian version of the uh, U.S. military's M16 assault rifle. This is the Israeli-made Uzi. And knives. <clears throat> this was captured uh, by the Israeli military in Lebanon. Learning and practicing martial arts and first aid because of a core belief. Terrorism is directed against the Jewish people all across the world. The world we know we are a target. If you just look at history, look at recent events. So they see a need to defend themselves. There are many threats. Uh, a high profile one as of late would be uh, Islamic extremism. I'm scared. I'm scared for myself when I go to work. But I'm scared even more for my family when I'm not home to protect them. And in the United States, where there is a right to bear arms, they say... We need to express those rights. We need to own weapons. We need to protect ourselves. It's a view they're trying to spread through camps like the one pictured here. For people to bring home to their Jewish communities, whether it's a tiny Orthodox enclave like the one on the road in... Or in a big city like New York, which members believe is more likely to be the target of a militant attack. But critics believe it's a group like this and their mission that actually poses a threat. Once people are ready for action, somehow action finds them. Danny Schechter is an analyst and a Jewish American himself. I grew up with what you would call the Holocaust narrative. And it often distorts your thinking because then you begin to feel everybody is against you, everybody hates you. And as a result, you act in ways that often are against your own interest. And despite everything, Kitat Konunut may not be. It's not an extremist group. It's not a militia. It's nothing like that. Uh, we're not here preaching any type of politics or anything like that. When a fear of Muslims... I'm just scared of the community as, as a whole. ...drives you to your guns, where does this lead? Usually comes in and starts screaming something. Allah Akbar, whatever, whatever they scream. You begin to see all Muslims as Osama bin Laden. Uh, and as a result, you act accordingly, and mostly it's not true. When a crime... The Elal counter in Los Angeles in 2002... ...drives you to the forest to defend a belief... The Jewish people has always been a target. Are you protecting yourself from a threat? This is combat position. This is the kind of shooting you do in terms of counterterrorism. Terrorism can be stopped, but it can only be stopped with our vigilance. Or are you creating one? In the end, I think, it really doesn't contribute to security. It makes people more insecure. Lauren Lister, RT, New York.